Hello Capricorn! This is going to be your reading for September 2019 Full Celtic Cross. And remember, it will not resonate with all Capricorns, but this is for uh, all Capricorns born on the zodiac sign that is dominant in their chart. For those born on the zodiac sign of Capricorn, new energies, hopefully positive energies, coming in for Capricorn. See what the beginning energy is. If you want to um, have a reading by a very um, unique and talented astrologer, go to Sunny from the Sunny Side channel. I had um, two readings myself done, and my daughter did. So if I can trust him with my daughter's chart, or she can, I have no problem, you know, trust him with anybody else's. So. Go take a look and tell them Jeanette sent you or my tarot channel. But we have, looks like the Four of Swords in reverse, coming out of taking a break. Maybe uh, you recovered from something. Maybe stress, maybe uh, illness, all kind of things. But we'll get started. Hmm, Nine of Wands. Subject of hand. Looking at the next step in life how you're going to work something, making plans of moving forward with something that has to do with a passionate nature. What is crossing it? You actually going for it and doing it. Got to have some energy. Maybe you lack energy. Maybe because you were recovering from something. But the incoming energy is telling you more or less that you're coming out taking a break from something. And you got the Ace of Swords crossing this nine. It actually going forward and doing it. That's what's crossing you. Maybe motivation, you know, or maybe um, maybe something's getting in your way. But um, we'll find out. And once I start, you know, clarifying this, it can change the story uh, with my other cards, my other deck of cards. I clarify with ask a second question, a third question, and it can change up the story pretty drastically. So bear with me. Your goal. Or what crowns you is temperance, regaining balance in your life. Um, temperance, it, things on an even keel. This is what you're wanting. And, and so far, this makes sense. Uh, founda uh, the foundation of what's going on is the Eight of Pentacles. Maybe there's not enough work. Or like I said, maybe you're not working hard enough when you should be. Or maybe um, work is slow, you know. In the past, you got the Page of Pentacles. Maybe you didn't receive a message that offers stability. Maybe you're waiting on a message for stability. Maybe that's what's going on. You're still waiting. Page of Pentacles in reverse can also be a Capricorn yourself, Taurus or Virgo, another Capricorn, but it's messages. Or you may be feeling, because um, it's a past energy and it showed you take, coming out of taking a break, maybe you did take a break. Maybe you weren't putting yourself out there as much. Near future, you're going to walk away from a negative situation. For the good of you, for the betterment of you, with the Eight of Cups. And we, like I said, I'll clarify, I could change the story up. A possible future outcome and advice from the universe. We got the Five of Wands and the Upright. You may be um, involved in some competition, some type of embattlement or strife. It could be the universe telling you to pick up your Wands energy or passion and go for something again. Even though you'll be going up against people. We shall see though. But it's coming towards you, your ships. Your ships are coming in. Some some Capricorns may be doing well in September, or it's going to start beginning at that stage and continue on past September. Remember, these energies just don't stop in September. They may start there, but they don't always stop there. And we don't want wealth and our ships to come in that are coming in to stop there. We want it to continue on. Your hopes and fears. <clears throat> Uh, four of Wands in reverse. You're afraid maybe in some ways you won't have a happy home. You won't regain happiness in your abode. And be careful of these fears because you can manifest these fears if you think too much on them. It's, the thing is to manifest them, to turn this around and have your happy home. But your ships are coming in. But th this lingers. This lingers. And um, I see you thinking about walking away, but something's coming in. Remember, the story may change up. In the end, you may be dealing with someone from the past, maybe past memories that you don't like. And i got to clarify to find out more about that. But it's in reverse. But 
doesn't it just means that maybe some bad memories maybe you're dealing with bad memories still or someone comes in back from the past that is kind of hurtful i don't know yet i gotta go back but we gotta go to the beginning with the nine of wands and the ace of swords you maybe haven't you're thinking about doing a new beginning going for a new beginning um uh restarting something possibly but i'm thinking it's a new beginning because it's the aces and it's maybe you're having trouble with it Maybe you're having trouble finding work. Maybe you're just having trouble getting motivated. Like I said, you just came out of that uh, Four of Swords energy in reverse. So the Nine of Wands in the upright, Ace of Swords crossing it. Why are you there? <clears throat> For Capricorn, I just lost my voice doing a Sagittarius's um, thing. I was wondering why, and it was because someone cut the grass and I didn't turn off the air conditioner. So I, if I cough too much, I may have to turn this off just for a second. I don't want to freak everybody out so the nine of wands ace of swords it's crossing it why you there for capricorn knight of pentacles yeah it's like you're having trouble motivating yourself some of you or something came to a dead halt for you that's the knight of pentacles in reverse this could be you also where you really need to get going again and like i said you may have trouble doing it or maybe things around you are getting in the way so the nine of wands in the upright Ace of Swords crossing it, clarifying, and Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Why are you there? As a subject at hand. Something the universe is telling you to get going, too. Yeah. King of Swords in reverse. Some of you dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Or this could be, like I said, you or someone you're dealing with is possibly getting in the way. Someone that has sharp words or... Um, I'm trying to feel their energy. So not always good. It's like they're very abrupt with you and maybe they're getting in the way. I'm feeling like something's getting in the way. They could be. And you're going to walk away from that, though. And what's your um, goal or what crowns you is the Temperance card in the upright. Temperance card is a good card. Re regaining balance. Going for the things that make you stable in life. You know? Make you more calm. So the temperance in the upright, as what crowns you are the goal. Why are you there, for Capricorn? Eight of Swords. Yeah, you you're trying to re regain a situation in your life where you were feeling trapped with the Eight of Swords. With the Eight of Swords energy, it's a mental energy. You feel like you can't get out of something, but you can. And I see that. I can see that in the beginning here. So the Temperance in the Upright and the Eight of Swords of what crowns Capricorn or the goal Why you there. Yeah, Page of Pentacles again. Mm. Like I said, this could be your energy having a rough start, having to um, get yourself motivated, or is that you're waiting for a message you're waiting for a message of stability where you don't like the message you received or receiving. And maybe this is what you're doing. You're trying to regain balance over this situation, and you will. You will. So as a foundation, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And this is like lack of work, or it could be working too hard. It depends on what the next card is. So Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Why are you there for Capricorn? Queen of Swords, yeah, I think the Queen of Swords or the King of Swords, both probably the same energy. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra in reverse, possibly, but not necessarily. Just something is really getting in your way with work that's um, causing a lot of mental anguish in some ways. Or, you know, so you may be dealing with someone that's really um, trying to mess you over in some ways. And it could be like someone from work, too. It doesn't have to be a relationship. So, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse. As a foundation, why are you there for Capricorn? And yes, I ask a question each and every time because I want a new answer. But there is hope. So don't give up hope. You have hope. You have hope for better things. I see that. The past, dealing with the Page of Pentacles, and we already had that twice now. So Page of Pentacles in reverse, why are you there for Capricorn in the past for September? So this may not have happened yet, okay? I'm just getting you ready so you can change the situation if you wanted to. Why are you there? Ships are coming in, though. Yeah, the past, the past, the past. We got that twice. The past and the upright. You enjoyed this person. You had good memories. But for some reason, something went amok. And maybe someone just, you know, had words that were very cutting. 
So Page of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Cups in the upright, in the past position for September 2019. Why are you there for Capricorn? Queen of Cups in an over-emotional situation, an over-emotional person, or maybe you were over-emotional, could go both ways. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio for some of you. But this is an emotional situation that you were dealing with. Maybe you received a message from somebody that you did have fond memories of one time. But they came in with their emotions all over the place. And you may walk away from the situation or someone else may walk away. But it doesn't say permanently. I got it. The only way I could tell you if it's permanent, if we get the death card, just because someone's, you know, someone may just threaten to walk away. So I got to find out. I need another card. So why we ask the question. Eight of Cups in the upright in the very near future. September 2019 for Capricorn. Why are you there? Ace of Cups. You, someone, you're not wanting to offer this new cup to somebody. A situation of the emotional nature. Maybe because the emotions are off or a little whacked, you know. And you may walk away from a, a situation that you don't think is good for you, a new beginning. Maybe someone asks, will ask you from the past to say, let's do this new beginning. And, and you had fond memories of them, but you're now thinking, I don't know if this is going to work. This is for some of you. For others, it could be a work situation that someone may, in a way, offer you something that you don't like, that you're going to turn down, and you may walk away from it. So Eight of Cups. In the upright, Ace of Cups in reverse while you're there for Capricorn in the very near future. The moon, because something comes out. You hear about something and you're like, no thanks. I'm going to walk away from this. Now whether it's permanent or not, I don't know. We have to do probably another reading or if the death card comes up again, like I said, in, in the spread, it may end. But I didn't get that, so I can't tell you for sure. Now, the possible future outcome and advice from the universe is the Five of Wands. It could be the universe telling you to get up and go and start doing things. Start going um, for your dreams. Start going for what you're wanting in life. You know, because the Five of Wands can be strife, but it also could be competition and going for what you're wanting. So the Five of Wands in the upright while you're there. For Capricorn, as the possible future outcome or advice from the universe. Ace of Swords. Yeah, go into something you're wanting, even if it lo looks a little rough. Because you got the Five of Wands and you got the Ace of Swords in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse is not getting your truth out. So the universe is telling you get out there because you're holding back on something a little bit. It's like, you know, your mental energy is like just holding you back. Don't let it hold you back. Don't do it. So the Five of Wands in the upright, Ace of Swords in reverse for Capricorn. Why are you there? Why are you there? Yes, and, and don't let don't let um, open yourself up for betrayals and getting stabbed in the back. Fight for what you're wanting. Go for what you're wanting. Just don't lay there and let people take advantage of you with the Ten of Swords, okay? It, get up. Get your energy back up because ships are coming in. Things, Good things are coming in. I hate for you to miss that ship, okay? So the Three of Wands coming in as the outside environment for Capricorn. What is coming towards them? Why are you there for Capricorn? Ships are coming in. Overcoming failures, past failures with the Seven of Pentacles. Overcoming failure in general. So something that if you work on something and you really go for something and don't let things that bring you down or get in the way, get in the way of your ships coming in, okay? I think that's what the universe is trying to tell you because you're going to have a little bit of embattlement with other people. And sometimes they'll take your, your mind will be taken off from going for that prize, you know, the overall prize. So we got the Three of Wands in the upright, Seven of Pentacles in reverse while you're there for Capricorn. Page of Cups. Yeah, don't let someone coming in send you a message and then get you all messed up. You know, don't let, and don't let uh, fake promises get in your way when your ships are coming in. And don't believe everybody what they tell you when they offer you something, you know, of the emotional nature. And I'm thinking it's a past energy, you know. 
And for a few of you, you may have done this to somebody and their, their ships are coming in. You can go vice versa sometimes, but that's very few. Now, is your hopes and fears, you got the four of wands and it's in reverse. And hopefully you can turn that around your mental energy, you know, get your passions back up. But you're afraid you will never get your happy home, happy situation where you want to be. Celebrations, enjoying yourself again. So the four of wands in reverse while you're there for Capricorn. And the hopes and fears and manifestations. Yeah, you're afraid everything's going to come to a complete halt. You just don't trust in stuff. You went through a lot. I know you have. I know Capricorn's been through a lot the last several years. So the Four of Wands in reverse, the Chariot in reverse while you're there for Capricorn is the hopes and fears. Knight of Wands, some of you may be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius or someone with a really short temper possibly. Maybe you're afraid of someone. Maybe you're afraid, you know, things will go bust or it won't, the, uh, the passions you won't, won't go forward. You may be afraid of that. But like I said, turn that energy around, which you do, can do. You can turn these energies around. It also could be that you're afraid of chaotic situations, you know. Now, in the end, you got that Six of Cups. That's what I was waiting for. It is in reverse. could be that someone comes back from the past and brings back hurtful memories, you know. and Because this is the over outcome, you know, the outcome. And it can take a minute to get there. But it's there. And your ships are coming in. Maybe you walked away. You know, you're going to walk away. And maybe they in infiltrate your mind again. But let's find out. Six of Cups in reverse while you're there for Capricorn. As the ending energy. Final outcome while you're there. Page of Wands. You may get a message. You may get a message. I'm thinking your ships are coming in. You're walking away from something. But someone may still contact you. I'm seeing this a lot in the spread. So it's saying just don't, you know, keep your eye on the prize. That's the main energy here. Go for what you're wanting. You've recovered from something. You walked away. You're walking away from something. Something that got in your way with your work, your finances, your life in general. And your ships are going to start coming in, but you're going to get a message possibly or hear about something from someone in the past that may have caused you some pain, you know. So the Six of Cups, Page of Wands in reverse while you're there for Capricorn in the very end while you're there. So the thing is, the universe is telling you, don't set yourself, yeah, you're going to hear from somebody. It's a stalker card for all the signs. Eight of Wands, that's communications, travel, things going rapidly back and forth. You may hear about someone from the past or someone may tell you something from someone in the past that, that, that somehow is associated with... Um, not so good memories, you know, maybe that hurt you, but you may be hearing either from them or something about them, but don't let it get in your way of your ships coming in. That is the key thing here. Okay. I know it's a little difficult. You do, you are going to walk away from a situation. You're going to find out something with the moon in reverse and the communications. You're going to find out something, but the universe is saying, keep your eye on the prize. Don't let disruptions come from past betrayals, possibly, or betrayal that you're still feeling the betrayal from with the Ten of Swords in the upright. Yeah, they're going to contact you. You're going to hear something, like I said, and you got the Three of Cups in reverse. You're not going to want to celebrate or go out with this person, possibly. Or they're not going to want to go out with you. Or you're going to hear about how, for a few of you, for a few of you some of them may be overindulging, you know, in life. And for a few of you, you're just going to be busy. You're going to keep busy with those ships coming in and going for other things. And you may not, you know, hang out with people as much. That could be it, too, even though that's kind of lame. But it does see you not accepting an offer to go out or doing something. And for, like I said, for a very few overindulgence. So that is your reading. Let me see what's under it. Yeah, Ace of Wands, you're not willing to do a new star. I'm thinking... Whoever you contact or who, you know, like I said, you're not going to want to do that Ace of Wands type thing. It, it's an Ace of Cups. I thought I saw the Ace of Wands is here somewhere. The Ace of Swords, a lot of Aces, and they're not, you're not wanting it. You're not wanting to offer this. Because there's going to be no victory in it. There's going to be no victory in it with the um, Six of Wands in reverse if you do. Because you're trying to regain your independence and financial stability and gain in your life with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, 
And that's the, what your reading is, is the energy I'm picking up. And I will be given another reading hmm, mid-September. So if you want to see that, please hit the subscribe and the notification bell. And I will see you then. Okay, bye.